tutorial, I'll show you how to make this 2017 pinata. Now, I know we're ringing the new year, it's gonna be 2018, and this is just something so you can symbolically beat 2017 to smithereens, which should feel really satisfying. If you wanna see more DIYs like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrinaosity, check out my podcast at mdxpods.com, and if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, it really helps my videos get seen. For this project, you'll need gold paper plates, tinsel or confetti, individually wrapped candies, spray adhesive, you can alternatively use paper tape if that doesn't work for you, a box cutter, and a pencil. Begin by drawing out each of your numbers using your pencil on the front of your gold plates. This is going to serve more as a guide of where you're going to bend the edges of your numbers rather than where you're going to cut them. Then go back in with your pencil and start drawing tabs around the perimeter of each of your numbers. You'll want more tabs on the areas where the numbers curve and fewer where they're straight. These are going to serve as something for the sides of your numbers to adhere to. These work the same way paper doll clothes tabs work to hold them onto the dolls. Next, bend an extra paper plate inside out and place it against the back of each of your plates that you drew your numbers on. Then, using your box cutter, cut out around the tabs. You're not going to cut out around the numbers themselves, just the tabs because this is going to be your hard edge. The best way to do this is set your paper plates on a cardboard box and cut straight through both of them. Once you have the fronts and backs of each of your numbers, cut out several strips of paper plate as well. Then put a generous amount of spray adhesive on the blank side, and after that has dried a little bit and gotten tacky, press it into place around each of your numbers. You'll have to use several pieces for each number, and whenever you get to a corner of a number, I recommend that you score it, and that way it will provide a clean bend around the corner of your number. In addition to this, it's also best to pre-bend these strips before you try and adhere them, that way they're already going to hold the shape that you need to form them into. Once you've glued around the perimeters of each of your numbers, give them some time to dry, and then spray the outside of them with spray adhesive, and begin pressing your tinsel or confetti into place on top of them. Do the front, then the back, and then the sides. And then after the tinsel is in place, trim around the edges with some scissors. You want to leave a gap in the bottom of each of your numbers that is unglued, and that provides you a place to insert the candy once your spray adhesive has dried. After you insert the candy into each of these, you can then go back through, add a little bit more spray adhesive, and close up each of those tabs. Once you've closed up the bottoms of each of your numbers, your little pinatas are complete. Simply take some string or twine of your choice and tie a three to four foot length around the top of each of your numbers. Just do a regular square knot and make sure that you have enough length above each of your numbers to hang them evenly from your ceiling. You can hang them with hooks, push pins, or even some duct tape. And that's all there is to it. Take your baseball bat and symbolically lay 2017 to rest where it deserves to be. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen.